I often say to you all that uh, that I'm a student. I'm a student of the church. Uh, I'm a student of popular culture. And so I'm always interested in what are some of the mindsets, the ideologies, uh, some of the catchphrases that are going on in and around the church. And, of course, I listen, like any of you, I listen to a lot of popular preachers and so forth. And there is one particular phrase that, of course, that is rather old, but, of course, we still hear it all the time. And that is the phrase, the best is yet to come. And, of course, we do know that particular phrase was made popular by Don, Don Lawrence, who has a song. I uh, with that particular title, you know, I'm not a singer, therefore I'm not going to try. But, of course, he says in the opening verses of that song, hold on, my brother, don't give up. Hold on, my sister, just look up. There was a master plan in store for you if you just make it through. God gonna really blow your back. He's gonna make it worth your day. For all the trouble you've been through, the best thing double just for you. The best is just and while most of us want to associate that phrase with Donald Lawrence, here's the interesting part. I did a Google of that phrase, that best is yet to come, just in terms of songs, and you'd be surprised by the number of people who had already lifted up that idea of that concept long before Donald Lawrence. Now, time won't allow me to lift them all, but some of the popular people who've uh, something that, that you may not be aware of, Frank Sinatra, Tony Bennett, uh, Count Basie, Quincy Jones, Ella Fitzgerald, Sarah Vaughn, Shaka Khan, all of them talked about the best is yet to come. And that's because they recognize that we live in a society, we live in a culture where we remain hopeful that the best days are ahead of us. But how many of you all know that there are some things that come to mind when we start saying that? For many of you, you can't even wrap your mind around that idea because you wrestle with are your best days behind you or are they in front of you? And I, I look on life, or I answer to that question, we know changes with time. There are some of us, when we were younger, we looked ahead. We were excited about growing up. I mean, we couldn't wait to get grown. As my dear friend uh, Roy Loggins often says, the goal of every person, at least every black person, is to be free, black, and over 21. We all want to be grown. But then, of course, once we've grown older, we tend to yearn for the past, wanting to be young again. But what I want to suggest this morning as we make ready to pray is the question becomes, well, what, what, so where do we fall? Are our best days behind us? Are they in front of us? Does it depend? Well, let me suggest to you that when we walk with God, like so many of us do, the answer is consistent because regardless to what's going on, regardless to what we're facing, regardless to what our age is, the best is yet to come. Don't take my word for it. Look at look at Moses. Over the course of Moses' life, you all, he witnessed the amazing things that God did. And many of those ha things happened when he was no longer a young man. You will remember he was 80 years old when he confronted Pharaoh, and God miraculously set the people free under his leadership. Moses saw the Red Sea part. He saw Bam fall from heaven, he even spoke with God face to face. Throughout his life, Moses always lived expectantly. He was always looking ahead for what God was going to do. He was 120 years old in his final years of life on this earth. And even then, he understood that his life was just getting started and that he would never see an end to God's greatness and God's love. What I want to encourage us in this morning, encourage you and encourage me, regardless to our age, regardless to our situation, regardless to what's going on in the world, regardless to who gets elected president, regardless to any of that good stuff. Deuteronomy 33 is true. It says the eternal God is our refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms. And this is the Chris Davis part. Those arms that faithfully carry us into his joy each day. So you know what? Donald Lawrence, Frank Sinatra, Frank Tony Bennett, Count Basie, Quincy Jones, Ella Fitzgerald, Sarah Vaughn, Shaka Khan, and Moses all had it right. When you walk with God, the best is yet to come. Let's pray together. God, I thank you. 
that there are so many wonderful, wonderful things that we could say about you. We could talk about how loving you are and how kind you are and how patient you are and how forgiving you are. But, God, today I want to talk about how consistent you are. You are a consistent God. You don't change. Your love for us, your commitment to us is as consistent today as it was the day we came into the knowledge of who you were. And for that, God, we bless your name. God, and since you're such a good God, since there is no shadow of turning with you, we do believe that the best is yet to come. My big mama, who is now resting with you, used to say often around her kitchen that every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. God, I believe that when she said it was sweeter, that was her way of saying the best is yet to come. So, God, I want to be intentional today for praying for every brother, every sister that's on this call, for every family that they represent, that in spite of what they're facing, in spite of what they're going through, that, dear God, the best days are yet to come. God, I believe that the best days are ahead of every caller. I believe the best days are ahead of this city. God, I believe the best days are ahead of the state of Tennessee. I believe the best days are ahead of this nation. I believe the best days are ahead of this world because you're still God and you're still on the throne. So, God, I pray today in the name of Jesus that your people would walk in that encouragement, walk in that boldness, walk in that faith, believing that the best days are indeed ahead of us. So, God, we often say at the St. Paul Church in our preaching, don't wait to the battle is over. Shout right now. So we're not going to wait until we move into those best days to thank you. We're going to thank you in advance because you are not a man that you could lie. So since you stay there ahead of us, we're going to claim it in Jesus' name and we're going to spend this day thanking you and looking forward to the best days, to the greater days, for all of the good things that you have purposed, planned, and provided for your people. So God, we touch and agree that it is so and we claim it is done. It's in the precious name of Jesus, we do pray. And everybody on the call said, amen. Listen to me, saints of God. I want you to walk in that authority. I want you to walk in that boldness. I want you to walk in that assurance that in spite of what you're facing, in spite of what's going on, the best days are ahead. So for those of you who are going to work, don't worry about what you're going to face. The best days are ahead of you. For those of you on the call who are in school, getting ready to go off to school, whatever the case is, the best is yet to come. Speaking of school, I want to remind all of you who are part of the St. Paul family and those of you who are within driving distance of St. Paul, don't forget that on tomorrow, that's the first Wednesday of the month, that our first Wednesday worship service is going to kick off promptly at 630. I want to encourage all of you who can and will to be there. Listen, we've got a number of candidates that we're going to baptize. We're going to be recognizing all of our college graduates, recognizing our high school graduates, recognizing our young people who made principals list and on the road, and yes, we're going to do it all in one hour. It's still going to be one hour of power. The music department is going to bless us, and I've certainly got an on-time word as we celebrate the great, great things that God is doing in your life. So meet me tomorrow night, 630, St. Paul, one hour of power as we share in the joy of baptism and we recognize all of our scholars at the St. Paul Church. I love you, and, and always remember, pastor's praying for you. Have a great day. Yeah.